Hello, this is Julia Whittup with Talk Story TV, and I have with me this morning Mayor Wilson, who is the author of a fantasy, an urban fantasy called Relics. And um, tell us a little bit about your book, Mayor. It's set in San Francisco, present day, and it centers around this couple who are paranormal detectives. Now, each of them has their own abilities. She is a medium. She can see and hear the dead, and he can see the dead, but he is also a finder. He can find anything that's lost, and it's about what happens when magic returns to Earth as seen through their eyes and the cases that take them to that. So they're like, what type of cases? Murder or... Well, it could be. It could depend. Uh, the dead will come to them and say, "I need help with this." Maybe they've got um, a message that they need given to a loved one, mm -hmm. or maybe they were murdered and they want to know who killed them, or maybe something has become lost along the way and they're trying to find it. So they've had different cases through the years. Uh, their most recent case starts off with a lost locket that um, is stolen during the woman's murder. And mm -hmm. so they're hired to, to find that. But as they get into the story, we find out that the man who, um, who killed her also killed a bunch of other people. And we find all these other ghosts that enter in. And then we find out that he's not what we think he is at all. He is actually an ancient daemon and uh, has been protecting a portal that protects Earth. So he's not all black. You know, he's not all dark. The murderer? He's got white. He's light, too. You mean the murderer? The murderer is yes. not all? Oh, okay. What's a daemon? Yeah, so uh, a daemon is actually... Uh, According to the ancient Greeks, they could be beneficial spirits as well as mischievous spirits, but they're not the same thing as demons, so I, I wanted to spell it differently and pronounce it differently to differentiate between the two. Okay, okay. So how is it spelled? D-A-E-M-O-N. Okay, Interesting. Okay, so that so they're detectives and they work mostly with clients from the other side or to do with people Correct. from the other side. Anybody supernatural. Any of the supernatural they work with. They don't work with living people very often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. How did you get inspired to write these types of books? Oh, well, I've always loved fantasy. I'm, I'm a big sci-fi and fantasy geek. And uh, I, I had had a, a vague idea on, on creating this story with the, the woman. I knew I wanted her to have some sort of special ability, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure what it was. And then I'm also a gamer, and I was playing World of Warcraft at the time, and I belonged to this guild, and... Um, a lot of people in the guild, their names started with Moo something. So we had all these Moo people, and it was very confusing. And this one couple, um, I decided I was going to give them nicknames to help me differentiate between them and all these other folks. And I started to give them the names of Thulu and Lafi. And just as I had typed it in to tell them, I looked at those names and I went, I'm not giving those names to them because... Those are characters, and those characters were, like, almost fully formed. They were just right there, and I just knew their stories. I just knew who they were, and I didn't. I erased the chat message and <laughs> didn't send it and started writing the book. <laughs> because you realized, so oh, my goodness. Out. So it was right there in your unconscious waiting to pop out. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was really funny. And I mean, I knew what they did and I knew who they were and it just it came together. It was just it was loads of fun. It's a lot of fun playing in their world. I like their world a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. And what's your process? How do you write? Do you um I'm organic. I don't are you talking about planning and yeah, outlines yeah. and Yeah, no. <laughs> You just um, start writing. Because I know their characters. I'm sorry? 
You just start writing. Yeah, I, I, I usually have a general idea of where I want to end up, but I don't always know how I'm going to get there. So I just get into the characters and let them tell me where their situations are taking them, and that's how I work. Wow. <laughs> okay, that sounds... I have planned my book so many times and outlined it and analyzed it and never written anything. <laughs> and I think I'm going to have to do that, just start writing. I I'm have analyzing. no idea how it's going to turn out. I just, I just did it. I just and it's did fun, it. it sounds like. You know what? I have a blast. I really do. I just get so lost in their world, and I have so much fun because I have all of these fantasy creatures that, that come in because magic does come back to Earth in the course of book one. And um, and that's not a spoiler because I've been telling everybody that. But um, they, they do have portals that are open, and it happens on television, and we see the unicorns come back and the elves and the goblins and the fairies and all of these creatures have, have come back to Earth. So I just, I have so much fun with those characters. They are just fabulous to write, and I just get a kick out of them. So I'm, I'm entertained. I'm writing for me, obviously. I'm, I'm having fun with the story. <laughs> yes, but how's the sales, though? It sound, they sound fascinating. Well, um, this is only day two, so oh. my book just came out yesterday. So we're oh, recording really? on the second, so yeah. Yeah, so it's brand oh. new, so I don't have a lot of numbers yet. Um, I am sold out on Amazon, whatever that means. So Wow, okay. Well, then. But they're going to get more in, so go ahead and order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we are looking forward to hearing more about them. So how long is the book? It's about 294 pages, I believe. Okay. And is it's part of a trilogy? You said book one, so there are more. It's it's a part of a series. I've got three planned right now. It depends on where three takes me as to whether or not I go on to four. Uh, two is complete and going to be submitted to my publisher within the next couple of weeks. I've already started book three, so uh, it's just a matter of getting the time to to sit and write it. And. Do you schedule a set time to write every day, or how do you do that? I don't. I, I really don't. I just sort of write when the mood strikes me, and I write very fast. My first draft of Relics I wrote in five weeks. Uh, the first draft of uh, book two was, uh, I want to say, seven or eight weeks. And then I spend like six, seven months on the revisions <laughs> yeah, uh, up to a year. Hard. That's the hard so part. So I, I write fast and then I revise very slowly. That's the way to do it, I think, because the it's coming out of the unconscious. You don't want to edit that while it's coming. No, no. So I just I just get it out there and get it down, and then I have some fabulous betas who have just been tremendous, my beta readers, and they're just awesome about, you know, nitpicking it to death and letting me, <laughs> letting me know what does and doesn't work. So uh, I, I'm very lucky to have some, some awesome readers. For and feedback. how did you get your beta readers? I, I have several that are in my gaming guild. That so I know them from from gaming. I'm no longer in World of Warcraft now. I'm in Star Wars and Guild Wars Two, and uh, they're in my guild. And then I have several that I know uh, that in real life that are you know right in my hometown that also read for me. Wow. Okay. So I have about I want to say I have about nine readers right now uh, that that do different things for me. So, so I, you one will go ahead. Uh, so, for instance, I have a couple who just give me overall story. Does it read well? Uh, does it work for them? I have a, a couple who are extremely detailed, and they're almost editing. They're 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 catching all every typo and and every sentence that uh, isn't smooth. And so I have two of those. I have several guys that read it just to make sure that I'm not going into chick lit. 
and that I'm keeping it broad enough to to appeal to 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 men and women, and um, and that's that pretty much covers the gamut. But I I have each of them serves such an important function in the creation of the book. And, you know, everybody thinks, oh, writer's in a little room. But, no, I have people who are, are really giving me excellent feedback, and I find that that's important to have. Yeah, and you seem like you're not isolated at all. You have – tell us about your other activities. Well, I teach college. Mm -hmm. I teach theater at the local college. I do uh, a literary podcast called Misbehaving with my – uh, co-host co and co-producer Carla Clifton, and she also does the podcasts for uh, Corellian Run Radio and Wild Star Radio, which I write for those fan sites. And let's see, what else do I do? I'm on social media an awful lot, interacting with folks. I do a feature on my blog called In the Spotlight for other authors where I try to highlight their whatever book they'd like me to highlight, usually their newest, and we do an interview, a written interview with them. And oh, I'm the sure that our viewers would like to know that where that website is. Yes, yeah, that is on MareWilson.com. Okay. Maybe you should spell that and out. I will spell that for you. <laughs> M E. M A E R, boy, spell your own name. M A E R W I L S O N dot com. I do know how to spell my name. I, I know that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I'm sure the some. And I know we have a lot of writers who watch this, so um, check. Yeah, I'd love to hear from them. Okay. Great. Absolutely. And um, and then so, misbehaving. Sorry. Go ahead. Misbehaving is uh, actually booked. The, the the literary podcast is actually booked right now through February of 2014. Oh, so um, I'm only making exceptions now and then to the schedule because I am I'm so booked. But that's only biweekly. You know, it's it's a lot easier when you're doing a feature on your website once a week. You can get people in a lot. You can get them in a lot faster. But mm -hmm. when you're doing it biweekly, that really extends that that schedule out some. So that's why it's booked into. 2014 right now but it's been booked into 2014 for like the last uh, three months oh my so goodness it goes really fast okay and, so that's and that's, that's also at mayorwilson.com you can get the link off of my website but it is a separate website and that's misbehaving that's m y t h b e H A D I N G dot com. Okay, great. And so, so tell us a little bit about one. the second book. The second book picks up about about a month after book one ends. And I have to be really careful because I don't want to give away too many spoilers on that one. <laughs> um because it, it really does. But I will say that um, Sulu and Lafi and Rio, for the first time, get to go off-world. So they get to go to one of the other worlds okay. that, are, that we hear about in book one, but we don't go to. But they actually get to, to leave Earth and go off to one of, actually they make it to two other worlds. So they get to go off world for the first time in book two. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. <laughs> so if you've read Relics, you'll know what she's talking about. But if you haven't, that's the one you should go out and buy now. Exactly. Because Relics just came out May 1st. And is it available in Kindle and all those different? It will be, from what I understand, next week, it will be available in Kindle. And if people want to go to my website, I even have a contest going for those who want to order Kindle versions because it wasn't available yesterday. I wanted to um, give them something special to celebrate that Kindle will be coming out in another week. And they can 
win a, a super secret surprise giveaway that I'm going to be doing, and they can sign up for that on my website. I have the links on my website to – I have a big raffle copter uh, contest going on as well, which is separate from the other one. And I'm giving away a Kindle e-reader. I'm giving away some uh, print copies, signed print copies, some uh, e-reader versions, and also – uh, some some signed bookmarks. I'll be doing that as a package throughout the month of May. Okay, so and you can go to my website and find out about that as well. Both of those both of those contests are up. And the prize is a Kindle reader itself of the machine. Oh uh, yeah, the, the the Kindle e-reader. Yes, the little oh. Kindle e-reader. Cool. So I'm giving away one of those. Yeah. I'm so. sure somebody will be interested in that. <laughs> If they that should be fun. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, so you're a busy lady. I am. All of a sudden, it's it's like wow. I was a lady of leisure there for a while, and now all of a sudden, I'm I'm just social butterfly on the internet. <laughs> there went that retirement, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay. Yeah. I'm having fun, and that's what's most important. And with the life expectancy now, it's probably too young to retire anyway. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think so too. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I like that. Yeah, we're too young for that. <laughs> so what else? Um, what else do we not know about you that we would that would be uh, you'd like to tell us? <laughs> Well, I live in the high desert in southern Nevada, and I have two dogs who are basically my kids. And you can see pictures of them on my website because I post pictures of them. <laughs> in fact, um, in fact, I have a picture of my poodle with uh, my book and my reading glasses on. So uh, mm -hmm. she's not telling me what she thinks of the book at all. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> Maybe she but, can't uh, see it with those glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's possible. Uh, one of my friends wrote on my uh, uh, on, on Facebook yesterday to ask me whether I got five barks from her or not. So <laughs> instead of five stars, so I thought that was cute. Could you? So, I see the cover of your book and the poster in the background. But could you hold your book up and let us see the cover? I could indeed. Okay. There it is, a big sword on the front. <laughs> it's backwards. There we go. Okay. So check it out at her website at com, And I'd like to invite you to write an article if you desire for our blog, which is tvbackstory.com. I'll be happy to do that. Okay, so check that out. Anybody who's watching this show, go read her article at tvbackstory.com. And I expect to be um, featuring Mayor Wilson at, on May the 6th, Monday, May the 6th. I'm looking forward to it. Anything else before we sign off? No, do you have any other questions for me? Um, I can't think of any right now. I should have some. I think we packed a lot in. Yes. <laughs> and I am looking forward to reading your book. Thank you for so much Thank for you. being on the show. Thank you so much, Julia, for having me. This has been loads of fun. Really enjoyed it. All right.